Forschung ist angewiesen darauf, dass sich junge Menschen für Naturwissenschaften... Research depends on young people's interest in science for two reasons. On the one hand, you need young people who want to become scientists, because they say, that's exciting, that's what I want to do, I would like to contribute something to the better understanding of the world. But research also needs the acceptance of society. We need people who say, science is important for our development as a society, so that we are prepared for certain risks. This is where the EU-funded Marine Mammals Project takes off. In 2016, nine European project partners joined together, including five universities. Their goal is to introduce teachers and students to the exciting world of science and to awaken their fascination for different research areas, for example, by using marine mammals. I'm at the head of an institute where we have people from many different disciplines. For example, biologists, veterinarians, physicists, engineers, agrarians. And many of the disciplines are necessary to study wild animals and to understand and manage the complex problems that occur in wild animals. The collaboration of international expert groups is a hallmark of the Marine Mammals Project, initiated by the Kiel Science Factory and the ETAV. Along with the Institute for Pedagogy in the Natural Sciences at Kiel University, they belong to the partners with many years of experience in teacher training. The participating research institutes at the universities in Odense in Denmark, Hanover in Germany, Liège in Belgium and Gdansk in Poland with their satellite stations, have special expertise in marine mammals. The other project partners are the WWF Poland, a nature protection association, a small German company for the realization of media products, and the Nature Center Havertz Hus in Sweden. Such nature information centers whether independent or affiliated with university research institutes, take on important tasks as non-school locations for learning. So in general, information centers, museums and zoos offer a stimulating learning environment for the students, so that it gets more exciting than at school. They discover something new, they meet other adults, other professions than the teachers. Therefore, it's a very good complement to the normal school environment. The opportunity to experience marine life and research directly that is a great attraction for both students and teachers alike. In the Marine Mammals Project, non-school learning locations also offer the opportunity to bring education and research together. At first, the experts developed extensive teaching materials, including practical experiments, and offered training for teachers. Here, they can also try out teaching methods and materials. It doesn't take long before these first teacher trainings are fully booked. Teachers are important contacts and multipliers for the Marine Mammals Project. The teachers have a key role in the project. We will reach about 70 teachers in each country. They bring the information to their schools, their colleagues and other people working in the education sector. Finally, they talk to their students. Therefore, they are very important and have a key role. They are really like ambassadors for our project. The subject is native seals and whales. Their biology, occurrence, threats and protection. But why marine mammals? In the past few years, we noticed that young people are very interested in marine mammals and that this interest is increasing greatly. For example, when we want to teach them something about underwater sound, they might listen. But if you say underwater sound is important for a communication between marine mammals, then they are really interested. The teacher training sessions, as well as the student projects, are always held in cooperation with scientific experts. Because these experts are authentic and thus allow a special way to access the topic and identify with it. 
Und das Besondere an diesem Projekt ist, dass man hier auch zum Beispiel Projekt ist, dass real scientists work together with teachers and researchers to find out what works with students, what affects them. This collaboration is actually the most exciting part about the project. Das ist eigentlich das Spannende an diesem Projekt. Er hat LED-Lampen, damit man auch was in der Tiefsee sehen kann. Hands-on experiments, in other words, practical experiments, allow teachers as well as students to get acquainted with the methods and topics of science. At the same time, they are offered a wealth of appealingly prepared factual information. We provide educational materials for students, university students and teachers. We develop hands-on experiments which can be copied or can be borrowed in expedition boxes. And we create podcasts for the students about the scientists, the work relating to the marine mammals, and we are also creating content for a digital poster. The materials are available on the project website. They are also uploaded to the EU website in Scientix, in the five languages of the project's partner countries, German, French, Swedish, Danish and Polish, and English. Throughout Europe, students and teachers can benefit from the Marine Mammals Project. The fascination and beauty of marine mammals help people to learn more about marine species, their habitats, the possibilities to protect them, and to get involved in science.